Hey, Doc Testa here, Chief Health and Wellness Officer for Pine Pollen Superfoods and Train for Longevity. And today I want to talk about collagen hydrolysate, or sometimes known as hydrolyzed collagen. And in the end, by the end of this video, you're going to know whether you should be using this for joint pain and if it's effective. Now, if you like health and wellness tips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. But let's get started here. So first off, what is collagen? Collagen comes from the connective tissue of animals. And the way we source it for supplement use is generally from cows, cattle, or fish. And generally, really from cattle, it comes from the hide. And there's a process of releasing the collagen from the hide using temperature and then refining it so that it has really no flavor and a similar process using fish, fish skin, and fish bones. There's ways of getting the you know GMO-free and organic collagen, and I would encourage looking for that sort of stuff. I've used some that really has zero taste whatsoever mixed in a little bit of water. There's been a lot of studies out that show that it's been beneficial with people with you know, helping skin, skin aging, skin, hair, nails. But in this study from University of um, Pennsylvania or Penn State University, um, they used uh, 10 grams of collagen protein, chi- collagen hydrolysate, uh, orally with athletes. And it was a randomized placebo control study. So some of them got the the supplement and others did not and their end point was to measure pain and so they wanted to see did it reduce joint pain and in fact after 24 out uh, 24 weeks of these athletes their pain scale dropped significantly so it did actually help their joint pain they used again 10 grams of this and there was about 150 subjects in the study who went through this uh, process and um, and it worked. So it did. The, the results of the study have implications for the use of collagen hydrolysate to support joint health and reduce the risk for joint degeneration in a high risk group. These would be athletes moving around. Now, what you want to look for in your collagen is you make sure it has the right amino acids in it. And the right amino acids are glycine proline and hydroxyproline. So you want to make sure it's a thorough um, product. Now, you can mix this stuff. It mixes really, really well. It generally ends up clear. Mix it with water and chug it down once a day. Some people put it in coffee. Um, That's up to you if you want to do that. So there's another way of getting it. It's interesting when you slow cook uh, like a pork shoulder or anything with bone in it, the collagen does come out of that and it's the gelatinous part of the, you know, once it all comes to room temperature or gets refrigerated, the collagen is the gelatinous tan but clear liquid that's left over. And boy, when you cook meat in that, it is very delicious. It obviously melts, and it's another way of getting collagen into your body. So you can get it from animal sources. That's generally where it comes from, especially in supplement form. You can cook it from slow cooking meats with bones in them and 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 tissue that are in generally fattier pieces of meat like pork shoulders that take a long time to cook at a slow and low temperature. Or you can simply buy this stuff, mix it in liquids, and drink it on a daily basis. Again, it was about 10 grams of collagen hydrosylate or hydrolyzed collagen. And what this means is it's sort of pre-digested and so it's more easily absorbed. And that's how they get it out of the tissue. So. Something to think about if you are an active athlete, if you work out hard, if you're just getting older and have joint pain, I would say give this the 24 weeks that it showed uh, the results with in the study and see if it works for you. If it's not doing what you like, like if it's not reducing your pain, improving your joint mobility, maybe even seeing a change in your skin, hair, or nails, maybe this isn't the right thing for you. But I think it's certainly a safe thing to try and worth the effort. So if you like this video, please share it with someone, subscribe to our YouTube channel below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.